Uh, this is really interesting. Tonight, uh, only on five, KTLA is giving you an up close and personal mm -hmm. look at what firefighters go through when they're actually inside the fire. And we were able to do it because San Bernardino firefighters are actually sharing exclusive footage they've captured on helmet cameras. Brandy Hitt joins us with a preview. This is very cool stuff, Brandy. Definitely, Michaela. San Bernardino is considered one of the busiest fire cities in the country. And if you've ever wondered what firefighters see and feel in these life or death situations, they can now show you. This is how the public is used to seeing firefighters in action as they put their lives on the line. Now, for the first time, you can see what they see inside the inferno, with each moment captured through a camera mounted on their helmet. I was noticing and, and hearing the creaking of the timber and, and knew there was an impending collapse coming up. A first-hand perspective from heroes who are also husbands and parents. They worry about dad when he comes to work. Any firefighter, when you leave for work, there's no guarantee you're coming home. Tonight on the KTLA News at 10 o'clock, we take you inside the fire. San Bernardino firefighters reveal why they're recording these highly intense moments and how they are using this footage. That's tonight on the KTLA News at 10. You know, Brandy, we've reported here on all the cutbacks that uh, our, our fire departments are, are facing. How can they afford this equipment? I, is it that cheap to use? Or What's interesting is these guys are paying for these cameras themselves out of their oh. own pocket. Wow. One of the fire captains you're going to see tonight actually was one of the first to start wearing one of these helmet cameras cost four or five hundred dollars to begin with now the technology has gotten cheaper mm -hmm. so but still the idea that you're gonna spend two hundred dollars and do this they think it's that important that they're wow. willing to shell out their own cash yeah. and are they the only ones doing it nationwide a lot more firefighters and different departments are doing this and what they're doing is they're posting them online and sharing them with other agencies we're gonna show you I mean San Bernardino has one of the most intense videos I've ever seen online that hmm. they've been posting. Mm. So they have a different perspective than some firefighters. Yeah, fantastic. Really interesting. Thanks, Randy. Tonight is Tonight only on 5. KTLA giving you a, an up-close look at what firefighters go through inside the fire thanks to cameras they're now wearing on their helmets. Perhaps you've seen them. You probably haven't seen the footage. Brandy Hit here now with a preview. Hi, Brandy. This video is so interesting to watch, Micah. San Bernardino is considered one of the busiest fire cities in the country. And if you've ever wondered what firefighters see and feel in these life or death situations, they can now show you. This is how the public is used to seeing firefighters in action as they put their lives on the line. Now, for the first time, you can see what they see inside the inferno, with each moment captured through a camera mounted on their helmet. I was noticing and, and hearing the creaking of the timber and, and knew there was an impending collapse coming up. A first-hand perspective from heroes who are also husbands and parents. They worry about dad when he comes to work. Any firefighter, when you leave for work, there's no guarantee you're coming home. It is intense, and you can see the full story tonight on the KTLA News at 10. Find out why they're also recording these highly intense moments from inside the fire, and you'll also be able to see that story right here tomorrow night at 6.30 as well. Like Looking that. forward to it. See you tonight at 10. Brandy, thanks. thanks. Still to come here at 6.30. Inside 30. the fire tonight with the brave men and women of the San Bernardino City Fire Department. Up next, the tense moments, the rescues, and also the close calls only they can capture with their helmet cameras. Well, only on five tonight, an up close and personal look at what local firefighters go through inside the fire. San Bernardino is considered one of the busiest fire cities in the country. And firefighters are now wearing helmet cameras to document their work and also help save lives. KTLA's Brandy Hit here with the pictures and the stories behind those pictures. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Micah. You've often heard it said they run into burning buildings while everyone else is running out. Now, if you've ever wondered what firefighters see and feel in these life or death situations, San Bernardino's best can show you. This is how the public is used to seeing firefighters in action as they put their lives on the line. Now, for the first time, you can see what they see inside the inferno, with each moment captured through a camera mounted on their helmet. Are you scared? Anybody that tells you they're not scared when they go into a burning building is, is a liar. There's always a risk involved. San Bernardino Fire Captain Ben Alexander is one of the first to start wearing a helmet camera four years ago. It basically just clips 
right into the side of the helmet, you push a button, and it's on. His camera was on when fierce flames tore through this old Victorian house. While inside, the roof began to collapse. I was noticing and, and hearing the creaking of the timber and, and kind of knew there was an impending collapse coming. Up. I was able to you know, push our firefighters out of the doorway and into the hallway, which was a safer area. Your heart's pounding, your blood pressure's up, uh, lives are on the line. The same crew tried desperately to save a life just two months ago. You can see as the crew moved in, their world went from daylight to darkness in seconds. Mike Okeson says that's when you have to feel your way through the intense heat. You have to get used to what people are saying with their muffled voices with their mask on. Within seconds, they found the victim. I shuffled backwards using the hose line as a guide between my feet so we could find the door. Once outside, the crew did everything it could to revive him. But unfortunately, the victim later died at the hospital. It's raw. It's real life. It's, it's what we do. And while fire crews can't save every life, Captain Alexander believes this video can help save more. Uh, there are fire departments from throughout the United States that actually watch our videos and use them for training. John Marini trains cadets and says this video has become one of the most valuable tools. The old days of talking about cutting a hole on a roof, talking about pulling lines into a well-involved or, or a working structure fire. Now they get to see the actual footage of doing it. And now several San Bernardino firefighters wear helmet cams. Because on the next call, the next flip of that camera switch could capture a rare moment they can all learn from. And listen to this. Each firefighter volunteers to shell out their own cash to pay for their camera. One day they hope to link them up together live during massive fires so captains making those important calls on the ground have clearer pictures of the fire as that fire spreads. Quite a bit of video. It's so fascinating yeah. to, to see that and, and nice to see that it can help other mm -hmm. firefighters around the country as well. This is happening yeah. more and more nationwide. You're going to see a lot more of these videos. Good stuff, Brandy. Thank you.